In this video, we take a look at a new technique from Stability AI called Adversarial Diffusion Distillation. This is a technique which is currently in development and the models are already out for research and it can produce pretty amazing images. Now, what they say here is uh, SDXL Turbo, which is what they're calling it, achieves state-of-the-art performance with a new distillation technology, enabling single-step image generation with unprecedented quality, reducing the required step count from 50 to just one. Now, we can already play around with this. We can play around with it on ClipDrop, where you can test it out yourself if you want to. But they also produce the paper, which, uh, which the technique is based on. And what they're trying to do is to take the advantages of diffusion models and combine them with the speed of generative adversarial networks. So they're calling it adversarial diffusion distillation. It is early stages, but it is pretty exciting. And I think it could possibly be the start of something interesting in this uh, generative AI space. The claims made in the paper are not outrageous. All of these images here are created using the new model. I'll have download links for, for the model in the description. However, these images, instead of cr being created in 10, 20 steps, 30 steps, they were created in just a single step. So these samplers all have just one step. And that's what really makes it original and new. Now I've tested it on a number of different images and it's pretty amazing in terms of its speed. It can create large numbers of images in seconds. So it's something which I think, even though it is limited to just 512 by 512 pixels, I think it could turn out to be something pretty significant in days to come or in years to come. Now this workflow, I'll be, I'll be releasing it in the next few days. And what it does is that it allows you to basically create several images using multiple, uh, multiple samplers. So I've created four samplers and feel free when you get this to mess around with it and change it as you wish. And with each sampler, we create four images. So you can basically go through and see what the images look like. Uh, I think one technique for using this might be to create different uh, prompts for the different samplers and to change the, the wording slightly to see what the, what, what the results look like. And I think that's a great way of using it for, for research purposes. So this is something which you might want to take a look at it uh, when you have a bit of time. I think it's definitely interesting. And I really wonder what kind of use cases we're going to find this technology being put to in a couple of years time. 